a recent study by Glassdoor showed that more than half of the tech job listed over there needed programming skills. Hey, what's good everybody? I'm Arisha Taikuma, back with another video. And today we're going to discuss the nine most in-demand programming languages in 2019. Let's get into it. Now, a lot of servers, power banks, hospitals, small uh, enterprises, big enterprises, medium enterprises, a lot of these are powered by servers. What that means is that they need a database. So you need to master some sort of database technology. It might be MySQL, it might be Microsoft SQL, but SQL is a must because for database management, whether it be an app, whether it be a web application, whether it be a website, uh, you have to learn uh, SQL. In fact, SQL tops the job list on Glassdoor. So database management software like SQL is a must to learn. Even if you have a basic knowledge, even if you're building something uh, on, uh, even if you're building something else, a basic knowledge of database is a must. Applications built by Google, Skype and Dropbox are powered by SQL. This language powers 7 billion devices in the world. Guess what it is? You guessed it right, it's Java. Java supports Android. So what that means is that it's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon because it also powers websites like LinkedIn.com. Java's popularity increased because of its use in developing native Android apps and native Android apps are still very popular. So you need to have a good knowledge of Java if you're planning to get into app development. It, Java also powers companies like LinkedIn.com, Amazon.com and Netflix.com. I've left links to a beginner's guide to Java, do check that out in the description down below. Now Microsoft introduced .NET which is used to develop a lot of enterprise level applications and, and if you want to use .NET then C Sharp is something that you gotta learn. So to develop enterprise level platforms, use C Sharp. Now let's come to the foundations of all these programming languages that is C and C++. If you know C and C++, then you can understand the working of higher level languages like Python. Because C and C++ form the fundamentals that give you a good idea of how the program is actually running before uh, moving on to higher languages like Python. So before moving on to higher languages like Python, I recommend you to learn languages like C and C++. Uh, that will just give you a nice overview of what computer science feels like. Uh, Plus it includes a huge list of applications like Adobe writes a lot of applications in C Sharp, Mac OS is largely made up of C Sharp, um, MongoDB database is uh, uses C Sharp, so uh, yeah it's not extinct yet. You might have heard of libraries like NumPy and uh, PyTorch. So if you've heard of these libraries then do leave a thumbs up down below because Python is one of the most preferred languages by a lot of educational institutes. In fact, uh, around uh, 27 of the 39 top universities in the world prefer Python as the uh, first beginner language. And Python really makes programming simple. It's got a simple syntax uh, and it's got powerful libraries that can be used a lot for uh, data science and ML. So if you're looking into a good career into data science and ML, then Python is a must. Python and R of course. Now let's talk about Ruby on Rails. Just like Java or C language, Ruby is a general purpose language. Rails serves as a framework for Ruby, so it's called Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails is widely used for programming, uh, for web, web programming. Uh, the main reason being that you don't, you don't have to code much in Ruby because there are a lot of third party libraries available. So uh, just importing libraries does most of the work. Plus a lot of top websites like Hulu, Twitter, GitHub use Ruby on Rails for at least one of their web applications. So uh, Ruby on Rails is great if you want to, it's, 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 it's an easy to learn language and can be widely used in web applications. Um, that's pretty much it from my side. Hope this video helped uh, you a lot. If yes, then do leave a thumbs up down below. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, peace. Redeem a fuller call.